Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have six unboxings here really quick. We actually have more than that, but I'm going to turn it into two videos, and we're going to open six of them up. Now, this is the Detolith Bellamy, and the Detolith Knives you can pre-order on Vosteed Knives. I'm going to link it down in the description for you guys. Hopefully, I do remember, but you can pre-order these now, the Detolith Bellamy and the Detolith Nightshade. I spoke about it in yesterday's video. Now, I've never seen a box like this, and I want to thank Todd again. Todd has struck again, sending me a nice big box of knives. He's been so awesome to us, and I can't thank him enough. He's been such a great friend. Todd, thank you, man. I, I, I really do appreciate all the support. What is this? I think he has sent me pictures of this. The Glow Rhino? The reactor from Glow Rhino? Proudly built in Detroit with Swiss tritium. All right, let's check it out. Titanium, and then it's got these um, tritium inserts, so these would glow. Give it a little glow. Let's see if we can... Well, I need a brighter light. That light's not that bright. But let's check out this action. Oh, wow, that is a stiff detent. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, you're not failing that. That is snappy. Holy cow. Nice, strong detent. Beautiful satin finish. Not the most drop shutty, but it's still very, very smooth. It is frictionless still. It's just, you know, this detent is so strong, I wouldn't imagine that it uh, could be drop shutty. I'm going to try to fail it. That thing is so snappy. Yeah, you can't fail this. There's no way. No way anybody could fail this. <laughs> that thing is strong. In a good way, though. I mean, nice, clean break. Now, I'm a little confused about this clip, though. I wonder if Todd changed that. Maybe he did, because that does not go with this knife. You would expect a titanium milled pocket clip. That looks like it's off of a budget knife. Maybe the clip didn't work that good. Man, that thing is so snappy. Very cool, though. Um, I love the blade shape, the size. Nice, um, compact EDC knife. I've never dealt with this company, so I love getting knives from companies I've never tried because this is going to make me keep my eyes open on this company. I'm going to have to check out what else they have. Man, that thing hammers out. Holy cow. Very, very cool, though. I wish I'd seen a picture of the back side of the knife so I could see if that is the original clip. And I'm curious, is it made in the USA? Because it says proudly built in Detroit with Swiss tri or tritium. I don't know. Very cool, though. Next is an SRM knife. So a Sam Remnu, I think that is, the SRM knives. Okay, so this is the the SRM Hasika Large 1411TZ. Let's set this over here. Oh, ooh, it's a premium SRM. Most of the SRM knives I've tried have been budget versions. Okay, we got, oh, it's a Tonto. Okay. Very cool. Ah, uh, that first flip, I kind of did that lazily. I was so used to that other detent. <laughs> I was trying to like cleanly or like lightly break it, but nice detent. Very solid. Feels like the pivot might be a little tight on it though. Beautifully centered though. Nice, strong, it has a strong detent, but it just, it feels like the pivot might be a little tight on it. Still very smooth, very comfortable in the hand. Nice and slim and comfortable. Um, again with the clip, a budget clip on top of a titanium framework. I don't get that. Two in a row like that. That's a little weird, right? I like, I kind of like this backspacer deal. 
we got some really cool jimping and it's crowned. Wow. The spine right here is crowned too. This is this is actually pretty well done. Um, nice and slicey. We have an ex like an extended tanto. Very cool. All right, let's check out the next one. I'll just set this to the side. Now, let me. We got another SRM. I'm actually really interested in these SRMs now. And I do believe this is, I'm not positive. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that might be San Remnu. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I am wrong. I'm not positive. Let me know down in the comments. Is SRM Sam Remnu or is that different? Whoa. All right. Come on, focus on me. We're going to do a Spidey flick first. Okay, no Spidey flick. Um, it might just need to be flicked a couple times, a little bit of a lazy, it's a, it's a, an access lock, you know, with access locks, you don't usually get a detent. So, you know, similar to like the Griptilian stuff like that. This one's a little bit more lazy than you expect from a access lock. I really like the way, uh, SOG is doing their access locks. Holy cow. They figured out how to do a detent. Super comfortable in the hand, though. I got to say that right off the bat. This clip is like almost non-existent in the hand. Look at that. I love the way they did that clip. And it's reversible. So we have left and right carry. VG10 steel. What was that last knife steel? I didn't even look. 154 cm. So this the, the other SRM was 154 cm. But yeah, this one, oh, wait, maybe it's just the way I'm flipping it out. It seems like when I put pressure this way, it kind of kicks a little bit harder. But I like the blade shape. Love this blade shape. Beautiful blade shape. It's going to be very versatile. The tip's up a little bit higher than I would expect for an actual spear point, but still. Very cool. All right, let's get to this next one. Now, this next one is just in a pouch. That over here. Um, oh, yeah. We got the large honey badger. These things are so cool. My own my biggest complaint about these. Oh man, it's so smooth. Yeah, these are awesome, man. It's just this damn FRN <laughs> and HCR. They do have them in D2 now. But man, these things look. Look at how smooth this is. This is an absolute budget knife. He's got it written as $39. $39. Now, of course, it's only $39. HCR and FRN. But, man, wouldn't it be awesome to see a premium version in this? Micarta or titanium, both would be amazing, with, you know, a premium steel. Such a good detent on these. And the hole is a little bit, I, I had the mini and the hole was a little bit easier to uh, reverse flick. Thumb flick is super easy. You can easily reverse flick it though. It's actually very easy, especially once you get it down. The detent is really good. The hole lands in a great place. It's just, it's a little big and my finger kind of gets a little caught. But once you acknowledge that you don't use your whole finger, you use basically the finger on the edge of the hole instead of the entire hole, if you know what I mean. Nice big finger choil, nice and slicey. Such a good knife, these knives. Um, reversible deep carry clip, and the clip does work really, really good. This is gonna be equally as good right or left-handed. If and These are just like the great gift knives and Great work knives, just great knives. Like if you need a good tool, a good solid knife, man, the the honey badgers are super, super good. Next, we have a buck knife. Oh, oh. I made a, might have made a mistake there. Oh, it was just oh, okay. So we got the buck. Vintage Pro, and this is the large one. All 
right, let me move this stuff over here. Very, very cool. Okay, I've seen these on um, like Knife Center and stuff like that. All right, so we got deep carry clip that looks like it's reversible. And we have a flipper. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, you just got to give it a little, little oomph. Very comfortable in the hand. Let me try that Spidey flick. Okay, the Spidey flick is pretty decent. Nice slow roll. The one issue, I think, is that it's on... It's not an issue. Let me just be clear. It's not an issue. But it's on washers and it's pretty tight. Now, I expect that this, after a while, would just break in super smooth. Like most washer knives. But it's very tight in the pivot, as you can see. I can hardly even swing it down. So when you deploy from the flipper tab, it just pushes out. So what you got to do is you kind of got to hook it and give it a little snap. But with a little bit of, you know, snap to your finger, it rockets out, like, really good. It just needs that little kick. And I don't mean any wrist. You don't have to do any wrist. You just need to kind of pop your finger a little bit. Very slicey. Beautiful blade, man. Look at this satin hollow. Holy cow. I'm not a big fan of the choil, but Buck just loves to do that. They... Buck does not like sharpening choils or plunge or like good plunge grinds. They they pick their knives up and their designs and they say, no, we need a bad plunge grind. We have got to hit the edge with our plunge grind. No matter what you do on our knife, make sure that plunge grind hits the edge. <laughs> it's like their trademark. Um S30V, boss heat treat, and this is running. Todd's edge, Todd, look at that edge, look at that edge, Todd kills it with his edges, man, all his knives always come with a beautiful edge, and with the Boss Heat Treat, Boss Heat Treat does, you know, good quality heat treats, but yeah, very beautiful, Um, and it's USA made, I love that, and super comfortable, now this hole on this side is a little tight because you have the lock bar that, you know, covers up some of the hole but that also makes it very easy to access i like how they cut it out on this side too with the g10 sometimes it's really tough to get the liner if they line it perfectly up with this side of the scale so that's awesome nice disengagement so that's very very cool all right we have one more so let's just get to it real quick and it is a best tech Oh, man, I hate some of these boxes, man. I don't want to tear the boxes when I open them. Oh, here we go. All right. So we got the Best Tech pouch. Ooh, ooh. What is the name of this? The Ascot. This is the Best Tech. Oh, man, look at that wood. Oh, that's beautiful. Move the stuff out of the way. Look at that. That is gorgeous. With the carbon fiber. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so soft. Titanium milled clip. No budget clip on this one. That's a nice touch. Looks like we do have some steel liners. Beautiful detent. Oh, man. Holy cow. That Yeah, that's nice. That's got really good action man that's really good a little bit of a thicker blade stock i love this jimping though look at this jimping this is that tight jimping that i talk about where it's it's nice and, and tight that's uh done by edm wire so that's the only way to get that tight jimping like that is wire edm but it's very effective. It It's grippy. I love that type of jimping. Beautiful edge. Great access to the lock bar. And it is stupid smooth on the drop. Detent is nice and early. So you're past the detent. Man. This thing is glassy smooth. Um, I love that it's internal stop pins too. Lockup is a little not soft in a... Um, 
in a bad way. It's just, it sounds soft, but. Looks like nice early lockup. Yeah, not bad. Feels good. No play. Beautiful blade. We have 14C28N2. Oh, yeah. This is a good knife. Very comfortable in the hand. Almost has a little bit of a, a, a sense of Shuro. Shuro Goroff type of ergos, but a little bit smaller. Shuros are just a, a bit bigger in the hand. But yeah, I like it, man. I like how they did their plunge grind and the choil. That is how it should be done. Speaking to you, Buck. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Man, I can't get over that action. So there you guys go. That is all six knives from this unboxing. But we we do have another five or six more that um, we are going to unbox later. I love you guys. Peace.